So on the day of the incident, on August 29th, uh, just after 7 p.m., I was uh, sent to a call initially for an alarm uh, at a business. Um, I was already on the road with my canine partner, Canine Caesar. We just cleared the call when dispatch comes through uh, to all the units in the department that there was a vehicle that I had overturned on Interstate Route 480. Driver later stated to us that while she was driving, she was cut off by another vehicle. So when she was cut off, she went into the grass and that in stir started the chain reaction of the rollover. So that's when myself and Officer Abitino from, uh, from our department, we tried to ascertain what was going on, uh, get people to clear so we could see. Uh, the driver had already exited the vehicle one, along with one of the children, but there was still somebody trapped. And once I heard that there was a little girl trapped, that to me was a trigger. I said, we need to get her out. Uh, one of the Good Samaritans that had stopped initially uh, kept saying, she's not breathing. So, or she's turning blue. And that to me was a sense of urgency. So I climbed inside uh, the vehicle and seeing that the roof was pretty much a little bit caved in. The other kid was sitting at, and this sits directly behind the driver's seat. So I cut the seat belt in that, got it out. Then I could just see the car seat, but I could not see her head or her face. What I remember distinctively about that seat is that, it, and I couldn't, the reason why I couldn't see her head was the fact that it was one of those car seats that are high back that it, it, it cradled her head. And that in itself helped keep her head intact during the rollover. That was not allowing me to see her and not allowing me to ask her Tim whether she was okay or whether she was breathing. All I know is that she needed help and I need to get her out. And when I saw her arms, basically she was just her arms were just like dangling upside down. And I would say that in the background, the mother that was outside already with one of her kids calls out the name. And it was re echoed by one of the Good Samaritans there. So when I heard the name Addison being called, it made it much more personal. It felt more personal for me because my daughter's name is Addison. Try to on trying to move the car seat, it was wedged. Uh, so it was the bench seat pressing against the back um, where the, uh, the car seat was attached to via seat belt. That bench seat was pushing forward and it was pressed against also the uh, part of the, the roof line. All I could think of was my own kid that I wanted to get her out. I wanted to get her out immediately. I wanted to make sure she's okay and she's safe. The only thing I can think of was brute strength to push on that seat that was pinning that car seat. Okay. When you're faced with a situation like that, is you don't hesitate. Hesitation takes time. I cut the seat belt that was attached to her car seat, and I moved her intact with her with the car seat all out because I was afraid that I would cause more harm if I didn't do so. It's just, it's chaotic inside. I was overwhelmed by the emotion of it. And it had to be scary for her. Everybody was just gathered and it was just overwhelming at the moment uh, where, you know, it's like, hey, give me some room. I need to get her out. So I'm, I'm trying to get myself out and then get her out without being cut because there was so much glass. We were myself and Nasser Vitino got her out and then I just carried her off, kept her in the car seat and I, we just, I just sat on the side of the road with her until the uh, squad came. I saw her once, I saw their eyes were open and she was just calm as a cucumber. She was uh, the cutest little thing. All I could think of is wanting to even talk to my own daughter at the moment and to see how she was doing just to talk to her. So later on, come to find out, I, I uh, severely sprained my quadricep muscle and, and around the knee where it was, I couldn't do anything. So I've been, my last day at work was this, that exact same night. And being out that long was <laughs> too much for me. I got to see the little girl doing an, uh, a separate interview that we were doing. She was pressing there with her mother. So that was a huge, huge relief for me to know that 
we were able to help her and that she was safe. So that was worth it to me.